Okay, so we uh, were trying to convert from uh, lineage to AOKP with the Verizon variant of the KLPE, the Samsung Galaxy S5, and we've got an, we've got an error. This is great because it gives us something to look at here. So kernel source found, but no configuration was found. So the target kernel config variable is pointing to the wrong thing. Essentially, <clears throat> when you go to build the kernel, you need to know what configuration file you're going to use to configure that kernel that you're building. And it's saying that we're pointing to something that doesn't exist. So we open up our device, Samsung KLTE VZW, and we've got our board config.make. And we see our tar target kernel variant config here. And, uh, and it's saying that we need to add it to our um, board config.make file. Now it's saying that because the one that's there isn't working. So we need to, uh, to fix that problem. Now, notice that when you have a phone that has a, uh, a ver variant and then a common folder, you have to check the board config.make and the board config common.make because uh, sometimes there may be a, uh, a clash in there. But if we go to our source code, we go to kernel, we open up that MSM 8974, we go to our arch, uh, we're building for an ARM phone, so we'll go to ARM. Uh, we're going to go to config because that's what we're looking for is a configuration file. And what we should find is the one that is specified. So let's see what we specified in our um, board config. So we're looking for uh, MSM 8974 Pro secure KLTE BZW. So we see all these secure KLTE, but what we don't see is a Verizon variant of BZW. And that is the, uh, the crux of our problem here. So it's pointing to a config file and then it goes to look for that config file and there's no config file that matches that, that uh, description anyway. So we have some choices. Uh, when you're doing something like this, you could open up like the default config here, and we could take, um, you know, just one, like the default config. We could pick uh, one of the other variants and use that as our um, as our uh, kernel configuration. Uh, like here, we have the European. Uh, default config, we could try that. We could just do the standard default config. Uh, so we have some options of, of what would be the best thing to do. Um, I think in this case, um, what we should probably look at is since for uh, For this device, we've built, or for this ROM rather, we've built uh, the KLTE, the generic one. That might be the best route to go. It would be to find that that configuration file. So let's take a look here. Uh, bear with me while I poke around here for just a minute. So if we look at the KLTE, the generic version, and we see there, it's building this, this lineage KLTE TN547 def config, default config. So that's what we should probably put into our, since that default config works for all KLTE phones or all Samsung Galaxy S5, <clears throat> then that would be appropriate for our, um, our phone that we're building. Essentially, since that kernel, you could build that kernel and run it on this phone, 
then that would be a good kernel to go ahead and build for this phone. Uh, again, kind of experience, kind of trial and error that, that fits into here, but, uh, but you'll have to experiment a little bit, especially when you're moving from one ROM to another. Let's see here. Um, you could also go through and compare the options that you need and uh, just uh, make the file, the configuration file that you need um, instead with the proper name. So that's certainly an option uh, there. Um, let's look and see, yeah, I guess we're going to, we should check to make sure that the, that the file that we want to point to is there also. And here we go. We see that it is there, is available and has all of these options, uh, set in it. So um, we're actually going to do a whole series on um, kernel editing and that sort of thing. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for uh, for those future videos. I, I think that's going to be really uh, great. Uh, just looking through here, you know, we see a lot of things is not set. That's normal. Um, don't be alarmed if you see that. That's how it tells the kernel that uh, when it's building, those options are not set to any particular thing, the, the options are yes, no, or module. And uh, and by being not set, it's saying I'm not specifying which of those three. So whatever you need to do to make that work is fine. So now we can go back, uh, we've saved our files and we can brunch uh, that AOKP, KLTE, BZW, Eng again. Uh, we can also build a user debug. Um, variant. Uh, it's a good idea to build an eng engineering variant the first time you build something, uh, because if you're going to have problems, you want as much logging as possible. You want easy access to ADB, that sort of thing. Since we've built, since I've built this before, uh, I think we're fine with just going with user debug um, option. So uh, we start our build again. And we'll see if it uh, starts building or if it uh, crashes on, on that again. <laughs> 